There are 50 million children under the age of five around the world suffering from acute malnutrition. They're being failed by a health and humanitarian aid system that isn't getting them the help they need when they need it. I think we can change this and solve the problem. Marker. I'm David Miliband, President and CEO of the International Rescue Committee. Acute malnutrition is a wasting disease that takes two forms. Severe acute malnutrition, which is the worst, and moderate acute malnutrition, which is the gateway to the most severe form. There's nothing more appalling than to see an innocent child wasting away in front of your eyes. Yet that's the reality for millions of parents around the world. So many of the children that we're talking about are living in the most challenging conditions, whether war zones in Yemen or desperately poor countries around the world. The scandal is that 80% of them don't get the health care that they need. That's for two reasons. First of all, their parents are expected to drag them, often in conflict zones or fragile states, to health centers that are a long way away. The second problem is that severe acute malnutrition has a different treatment protocol from moderate acute malnutrition, and different UN agencies are expected to implement those different protocols. This makes no sense. For the last five years, the International Rescue Committee has been piloting a radically new way of tackling this problem. There are two solutions. First, we should ensure that there's a single protocol for the treatment of all forms of acute malnutrition, both severe and moderate with appropriate dosage for different levels of severity. It doesn't make sense to overcomplicate a disease that has a simple core. These children aren't getting enough to eat. Second, instead of expecting parents to get their malnourished children to health centers that may be hours away, we should instead take the medical support into the community and ensure that community health workers are able to give support to children where the children are. We've seen demonstrated success with this new way of working. Our studies in South Sudan and in Kenya give us a high degree of confidence that we can reach many more children with effective treatment through these two changes. Now is the time for commitment, for urgency, and for funding to ensure that we get the right partnerships in the right places to deliver for these millions of children. I'm convinced that if we change the health and humanitarian aid system, we can save those millions of lives and assure that those children grow up to be healthy adults. This is within our reach, and that's what we're determined to achieve. <laughs>